definition. This is Corey Local 6 News at 5.30. Tonight, authorities are warning parents about an old drug that's showing up in a new form in local schools. Well, that makes it real easy for them just to pop it in their mouth, use it for one period, take it out, use it again later. And take a look at it. It's called weed candy, and authorities believe that even middle school aged kids could be experimenting with it. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Amy Troy. And I'm Jenny Henson. Welcome to Coin Local 6 at 5 30. Negression police are warning about mm. weed candy after several local high school students were found with that drug. Coin Local 6 reporter Jessica Morker joins us live from Gresham. And Jessica, police say they are close to tracking down a dealer. They are, Jenny, but in the meantime, they're advising folks out there to know the signs of someone using weed candy. I've been a police officer for 15 years. Just like the candy you'll find on any store shelf. I have yet to see actual marijuana candy. I've seen the brownies, I've seen the cookies, and of course, lots of the natural product, but never in the, the candy form. Weed candy comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. A dangerous combination school resource officer Rick Blake doesn't want passed around schools. Last month, he confiscated several small pieces of candy from students at Centennial High School, one of many local schools where the drug has been found. It's actually pretty prevalent, uh, apparently, on the East Coast, uh, but the first time that we've actually seen it out here. Blake says candy weed prices range anywhere from $1 to 5 bucks. It's odorless and often goes undetected. Protected. It's sweet and appealing to young kids who may have older sisters or brothers using it. Children look to their older siblings, and there is nothing that says that uh, it's okay or not okay than an older sister or brother giving the stamp of approval. Claudette Cusick is a parent. She also works with middle school age students in Gresham. She believes some students are trying it. What my concerns are is the upcoming spring break. Is when uh, a lot of these things other kids have been hearing about and kind of sitting on the fence. Peer pressure is very strong. So weed candy is so new that I'm told that Gresham Police and the District Attorney's Office is working on how exactly to charge students caught using it. They tell me that the uh, signs of weed candy are the same as someone smoking it, slowed motor skills, slurred speech, and increased appetite. Reporting for you live in Gresham, Jessica Morkert, Coin Local 6.